was the first president in 1948 of the Palestinian uh, people. And who was the president of Israel before 1948? Oh, that's right. There was no president of Israel before 1948 because Israel did not exist. There was no place on the map that you could point to to say, that's Israel. Here's a harsh reality for you. Israel is an illegal settler colony propagated by the Zionist movement in the middle part of the 20th century. You might ask, how were the Zionists able to pull this off? Well, they were backed by the only imperial superpower in the world at the time, the British fucking empire. This is what I don't understand about these people. They're literally defending David Ben Gurion, Winston Churchill, Lloyd George, Theodore Herzl. For decades, the British government made conscious policy decisions to disenfranchise the people of Palestine of their land and their political means to control the land. Let's follow her good old settler colonial logic for a second. She's basically saying that because the Palestinian people did not organize their political system in the manner of Western-style nation-states, they therefore deserve their own ethnic cleansing. They deserve to be massacred. They deserve to be without human rights because they they don't even exist really. But this is exactly what the British Empire and the US and Israel have been doing to the Palestinian people for literally over a century. I love when chuds want to go take a look at the history because the historical record is not on their side. Do people realize that this is the same kind of person that would have blamed slaves for their own political disenfranchisement? Only someone with an impressive amount of brain rot can reduce this whole historical context down to one simple gotcha as if she just crush the argument. Holy shit, I've seen this guy make some bad videos, but this is next level. Funny that you say the UN calls them an occupying force because they're only occupying the land the UN gave them. Wow, that's wrong. The UN did not give them the West Bank Gaza Strip or Golan Heights. And since 1967, the UN has condemned Israel every year for being in violation of international law for its occupation of the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, and Golan Heights. Yikes. Plus the Golan Heights, which Syria is lucky that's all they took. But when you say they're an occupying force, I legitimately don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Boomer, I know that you don't know what I'm talking about because in order to know what I'm talking about, you have to read. You don't read the human rights reports. You don't read the UN resolutions. Therefore, you don't know. Look, Boomer, I'm showing you a document from the historical record from the source in question, the United Nations. This is a resolution adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in December of 2021. This document clearly stresses the urgency of achieving without delay an end to the Israeli occupation that began in 1967. Yes, ever since 1967, year after year after year after year, the United Nations General Assembly resoundingly decries Israel's involvement of all of the occupied Palestinian territory. You don't know that the entire world consensus overwhelmingly agrees that in spite of Israel withdrawing its troops from Gaza in 2005, it remains the occupying force because it controls the airspace, it controls the landed borders, it controls the sea, it controls the waterways. Israel controls everything that goes into Gaza and everything that comes out. Nobody leaves Gaza and nobody goes into Gaza without Israel's approval. That is unilateral and unanimous control over the Gaza Strip. What is absolutely hilarious to me and what should be embarrassing for you is that in your own argument to defend your position Position that Israel is not the occupying force in Gaza, you cite the UN, when in fact the UN is the very source of the information that I'm giving to you now. I mean, I know you're not big on sources and like showing facts and demonstrating your work, but I mean, come on. As if I'm the crazy one for citing the UN General Assembly resolutions and virtually every human rights organization you can think of and international judicial body, even Israel's own top legal experts all agree that Israel Israel is the occupying force in Gaza, despite withdrawing its troops from Gaza in 2005. What's even more hilarious and mystifying is that if this baboon had two brain cells to rub together, he could have easily asked ChatGPT. Even ChatGPT responds with the accurate information. The United Nations and various international bodies consider Israel to be the occupying power in the Gaza Strip, despite its withdrawal of troops in 2005. This determination is based on factors such as Israel's control 
control of Gaza's borders, airspace, territorial waters, as well as other significant aspects of daily life in the region. You can find all relevant information in the United Nations Security Council. Or looked up the Wikipedia article on the matter. Like, come on. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Bro, what is this graphic? So I generally don't pay attention to much this guy says on TikTok because just about every one of his videos is just kind of a weird semantic game designed to hide the fact that he's cool with people murdering Jews. Whoa, what a sick burn from the baby boomer who in lieu of making any credible points of his own and who has yet to rebut any of the videos I've made debunking his brain rot pulls the murdering Jews card. How pathetic. He knows he has no argument. And let's take a look at what sort of semantics he accuses me of engaging in. The first lie it shows you on this map is it calls it Palestine. It wasn't called that. Even the guy who birthed the idea of Israel called it Palestine. Yeah, right, he was trying to say that no one called it Palestine. Like, imagine how stupid you must think that your audience is, that you could fool them into thinking that citing the universal principles of humanitarian law, the articles of the Geneva Conventions, the UN Charter and its many resolutions, the hundreds, if not thousands by now, of comprehensive reports written by human rights organizations and other publications, all unilaterally condemning the illegal annexations of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip made by Israel in 1967, as well as Israel's many war crimes and human rights abuses. Imagine thinking that all of that is simply a cover for my rapacious desire to murder Jews. I mean, just think about how crazy this is for a second. If I present to you UN Resolutions 242 and 2334, if I present to you the Goldstone Report, or Amnesty International's 22 Days of Death and Destruction, which was a comprehensive report of Operation Cast Lead in 2009, or Human Rights Watch reports, or B'Tselem, or even Israel's own top legal experts, all who conclude that Israel is in violation of international law by occupying the West Bank and the Gaza Strip and must return to its pre-June 1967 borders. Is it rational for someone to then conclude in the face of all that information that all of those organizations are just simply there to murder Jews? I mean, what a fucking joke of a person. Who was the president of Palestine before 1948? Gotcha. Uh, Palestine didn't have what we in the West call presidents. They were called Grand Muftis. And before 1948, the Grand Mufti was Amin al-Husseini. What? No, but who was the president, though? I just told you. Ha! There was no president. Gotcha! Yes, they didn't use the word president, but they still had leaders in Palestine. Just because they didn't label their leaders president doesn't invalidate their political system or their human rights. You just made this about you and your own xenophobia and ignorance of other cultures outside of the West. Nuh-uh. Let me ask you this, who was the president of Israel before 1948? Uh... Gotcha! No? Yeah, because before 1948, Israel didn't fucking exist. Don't talk bad about my favorite apartheid state. When your day is long, when was Palestine founded? What do you mean founded? When was it a country? It's always been a country. That's not true. When was Israel founded? 1948. Wait, Israel is younger than my dad? Why is my dad older than Israel? Palestine was never a thing. Really? What did the British call it before 1948? It was a mandate. Yeah, a mandate of... Shut up. What now? Nuh-uh. What was the word? Fuck you! According to Israeli prime ministers themselves, they were... Palestinian. Britain got the mandate over Palestine. Pa -pa Palestine. What was Palestine then? Palestine was then the area between the Mediterranean and the Iraqi border. East and West Bank was Palestine. I'm a Palestinian. <laughs> From 21 until 48, I carried a Palestinian passport. Nixon ordered Cambodian genocide. Sent cruise missiles to Sudan, people died. Gave the orders to do drone strikes Invaded Nicaragua in 85